Welcome back to Wasteland 2. Let's continue on to the front of the Silent Springs building and clear it out, because I know there's at least one slicer dicer somewhere here. And a disco bot. And then we need to follow the blood trail inside and clear it out and see if there's any survivors. Also, near the end of the last episode, I repaired Jamie the robot and he joined our team. But I think he was bugged out before, because every time I moused over him, I couldn't see his hit points or anything like that. Whereas now I can. So maybe I can actually converse with him. So he has 90 hit points, which is not very much. He apparently does between 1 and 2 damage, which is... pathetic. Yeah, he's got pretty good armor, though. Let's see if I can talk to him. Nope. And I've already overclocked him, right? I think so. Did I just re-overclock him? Maximum... Pa Actually, hold on. Let me test a hunch I have. I'm going to save and then reload. I want to see if I can overclock him again. Because if I can, then I just found an unlimited XP exploit. Uh, what the fuck? It, wh what did I do? What's happening? <laughs> what is this? Uh, what? It's like unlimited. Li what the fuck? The audio's glitching out. It's like spamming the XP and the success a million times. What the fuck did I just do? He leveled up. Did I just? I think I just broke the game. Hold on, let me see. Copy Echo One. This is Ranger Command. Echo One, congratulations, Echo. Oh my god, I think I just found an exploit. I'm not gonna exploit it, I just... I wanna keep testing this to see if I just found what I think I found. Okay, and I'm gonna reload my save game. So I leveled Harper up. Let me see what XP he was at before I leveled him up to see whether it actually kept stat- Yeah, look at that! His XP wasn't even near leveled up. It literally just kept unlimitedly giving me... Wow, can, can I do that again? What the hell? Okay, this time it didn't do it. I don't know what the hell is going on with that, but just... Be aware, there is some sort of an exploit where you can save and reload your game and keep overclocking, overclocking Jamie the Robot, and it may give you unlimited XP. Anyway. Well, wait, I guess I should probably overclock you, huh? Because if I... See, I don't know if he's overclocked, or like when you reload your game, maybe he becomes not overclocked. I don't really know. So I guess I will do it just once. And the XP's normal. Everything's good. I'm going to save. <laughs> Okay, that, that is really weird. This game is so broken in many ways. Alright, oh, there's the Slicer Dicer. Um, let's approach from over here. There, oh, no, 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 don't go that way. There's a little bit more room to set up my people. Oh god, it's gonna start combat. Or not. Yep. It's okay, we just got set up though. <laughs> well, might as well kill it. Can't reach the uh, slicer dicers, so let's go for the easiest target. is too damn close, and he's under pressure. Uh. 
Let's ambush the Slicer Dicer. And let's go punch you to death. Wait a minute, what am I doing? You have four armor. Let's use my energy weapon. I'm not really sure if that's actually better than using the shotgun. 90 damage? Maybe? I need to find some new energy weapons. I don't think this thing's too good. I mean, what is it worth? It's worth 125. That's not bad. But if you look at how much my other main weapons are worth, like 140... 150, 140, 170, so something that's worth 125 is fairly low, it's, it's a little bit old, a little bit dated. You shot Jamie, asshole. Where are you going? Oh, guess there's another robot over there. Damn, Jamie can move. <laughs> Just having his own private party over there. Oh god, that doesn't sound good. Jamie! Missed? Uh, looks like it missed twice. Nice. Alright, that thing's almost dead. Um, unfortunately it's gonna get to attack once before dying. Perfect. He's a distraction. Because that's all you're good for. And by the way, the attack animations for the Slicer Dicer are just so cool. All these laser things and jumping up in the air and... Yeah, it just looks really awesome. Uh, let's just punch it to death. Let's not waste the ammo. <laughs> Jamie, we're coming! Jamie. Just do that 200 more times and it'll be dead. <laughs> Actually, I might be able to shoot from here. No, probably not. No. Too far away. What about you? Nope. Okay, should be able to take one shot at it. I think... Yes, just barely. Oh, right. The thing only has three armor. In that case, let's go for this. Damn. That actually did a lot of damage. Copy, Echo One. Congratulations, Echo. Four skill points. Hmm, do I want to upgrade Surgeon? Yes, sure, sure. Now, do I want to pick up their heavy crap? Yeah, I mean... I think I will, because... 
Hoopy, Hoppy, however you pronounce her name, is just back there. Her and Maggie, so I could, yeah, I could probably sell it pretty easily. Alright, let's go check out Silent Springs. Well, I think it's safe to say everybody's dead. Goodbye. Where's the start? Place looks deserted. Uh, here it is. A big open space with a big open space with water tanks against one wall, and a water purification system visible through the grated floor. You don't see anybody, human or robot, but there is blood on the floor and the sound of gears whirring somewhere in the back rooms. Kama Sutra book. Forgot to loot you. A another Kama Sutra book? And some dentures. So, elderly Kama Sutra? I mean, old people have sex too, I guess. Now I'm just thinking about old people having sex. <clears throat> um, this would be useful if everybody in it wasn't so ugly. I don't think it's meant to be used as porn. I think it's a guide. Oh, hi. <laughs> Awkward. For a second, oh god. Yeah, clustering's not good with these Octodrons. For a second I was thinking, is that Jamie? Then I realized, wait, nope. Close range sniper. That's not good. Let's get far away. Uh, we have plenty of turns. Yeah, we're going to be able to kill all these things before they get to go. So let's just go easy on the ammo. Lost control. Oh, he lost control, but he couldn't move, so he just skipped his turn. Wait, we're still in combat? With what? There's no more enemies in the room. Is something coming down the hallway? What's going on? Oh shit! There's things in here! They must have heard the shots, so they're gonna... Uh, oh, they're gonna be coming from there. Okay, so let's get out in the hallway and do some overwatch. Come out and play. Are they coming? They're not moving, are they? 
so we're in combat with them, but they're not coming to us. Uh, okay. I'll just get this party started as fast as I can. Can you go get their attention, please? It's just... that's it. Hi! You see me? Awesome. Come out, please. Oh, shit! I did, like, nothing. It was pretty, though. It's a light show. Get him, Jamie. Go disco his face. Give him the uns uns. Yeah. No, Jamie. Oh shit. I need to repair Jamie. Actually, I think Jamie's really close to dead. So let's go do that. Uh, hmm. I don't want to move here because then I'll block anybody else from going in. Uh, let's just get inside. Do I have a shot? No. Whoa, wait, that's out of range. And that takes one more AP, so that's not gonna happen. And you're out of range, so I guess I'm just gonna ambush. Okay, we need to kill some stuff. When is this thing's turn? That's Jamie. Uh, okay, so it doesn't have a turn for a while. Cool, we should be fine then. Alright, our people are spread out, so I don't need to worry about AoEs or anything like that too much, so I can kind of just choose whoever I want. Let's kill you. And you. And let's go punch you. 33 damage. That's actually not bad. Alright, this should put you in your metal grave. No, no, Jamie, what are you doing? That's brave of you, but I think you're about to die. Oh god, oh god, Jamie! This time, Jamie lost more than just his arm. Oh wait, he never had arms to begin with. Did I headshot? I don't... I meant to headshot, but I don't think I did. Let's get all the fat LUT. Get that LUT.
oh, this <laughs> this water cooler is directly connected to, like, a half a foot diameter pipe. It's kind of weird. It's not usually how water coolers are connected, but I'll take it. Echo, Alright, got Helen, uh, three points, do little, and Vulture's Cry, eight points. That is plenty. What should I upgrade? By the way, I have a book. What was the book that I had? The one that I was saving for something. Was it this? Yeah, computer science skills. I'm, I'm waiting until he has nine. Right? Yeah. Because then that will be the equivalent of eight skill points. Yep. Okay. Anyway, so you have eight points. Mm. I mean, your safe cracking and uh, her safe cracking and sniper rifle skill is really good. I don't use animal whisper like ever, but I guess I'll go with that. Expertly wrapped chains keep this door held firmly in place. Easy enough to unwrap, if it weren't for that meddling lock. I don't see no chains on that door. Lies. Oh, it's actually a different instance. Hmm. I should probably do some healing. Alright, looks like we're pretty much through our bad med packs. There we go, so all the ones we have left are... Yes, quite good. They heal about 100 hit, about 100 hit points. Although, that does also mean we're kind of running out. But it's fine, I have shit tons of money. Can always just buy some more, just like I bought ammo. Oh, this is the side door. Oh, right, we couldn't get in from the outside, but now we just unlocked it from the inside. Gotcha. Somebody's been painting. A big room with a safe in one corner, and a dead man armed with a shotgun slumped behind an old oak desk. There's also an easel and paint box by the door, and a canvas with a half-finished portrait of a smiling woman. Painted with engine grease, transmission fluid, and other liquids scavenged from airplane detritus, this painting is a surprisingly tender representation of a plain, happy woman. At the edges of the painting, where David hadn't filled in the full saturation of color, you can just make out another, fainter image below the portrait. He was painting over something else. Wonder what it was. Wait, David? Who's David? Is that a quest item? What is that? No? Beneath a few layers of fresh paint is a much older image. It takes some archival skill, but it might be possible to restore the original. Archival skill? That's not something any of my people could have, right? So I would need to give this to a specialist? Have I ever met an artist of any sort? Not that I can think of. A plump, middle-aged man with a thatch of sandy blonde hair and oil paint all over his fingers and shirt. All partially obscured by sprays of blood. Searching him, you find a postcard. It reads, David, I'm sorry. I married Randy for better or for worse. I can't break that vow, no matter how much I want to. Forgive me, Sarah. Wait. Wait, hold on, wait a minute. 
Didn't I get something a while ago, like when I first got to DeMonta? That name seems familiar, Sarah. I don't know about David, but Sarah. Um... Uh... What was it? It was a... Yeah, Bloodstained Journal. Uh, let's see... Oh, Holly. Now let's talk about Holly. Holly's beautiful and charming and funny. No, it just mentions Holly. Donald. No, I guess this isn't related. <laughs> a fine old piece of furniture, well cared for. Half hidden under a copy of High Finance Magazine is a brass nameplate that reads David Barnes, Proprietor. Locked code panel. Alright, let me use my trinket and let's... Wait, she might already have it on. Oh, she already does have it on. Voodoo doll. Interesting. Plus 2% critical chance. It's not bad, but not great. Why Why the fuck do you have a human heart? I mean, what? Like, is this loot randomly generated, or is this supposed to say something about the person who owned this place? You know, who, who lived in this room and who stored his stuff inside of this safe, because... If the proprietor of the whatever Springs Water Company ha keeps a human heart in his safe, that's a little bit disturbing. It's kind of fucking weird. What is this? Like, why is this highlighted? Can I blow down the wall? Because I can't click on it. You don't build a fence unless you're trying to keep something out. I, I'm, I'm sorry, there's a fence inside of the wall? What, what? Or the wall is a fence? Uh, okay. Sure. Alright, I think that's it for this place. I guess there's no survivors. Oh, there you are. Got some bad news, Clyde. You chewed up those robots and spit them out like... Hey, were you fighting in the back offices? Were there robots in there? Is... Is everybody okay? Sorry, Clyde. No one made it. Oh. No. All dead? They're all dead? Yep. But... I was gonna have a beer with David tonight. Give him this book I found. He was always going on about electronics and whatnot, and now... I guess you lock and have it for all the goddamn good you did. I... I'm sorry, Rangers. You did the best you could, but this... This is horrible. I... <laughs> well, I guess you can take all the water you want now, huh? There's a dispenser in the front room. I know, I already helped myself. I mean, uh, thank you. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, sorry everybody died, but thank you for the quest rewards. Where did that book go? It's about electronics. I swear, stuff is not marked properly. I d did he even give it to me? I don't know. There it is. Alarm disarming skill. Okay, interesting. So I could use that on Lexcanium, but his skill in that is only, what is it, five? Yeah, it's five. Uh, let's just keep it for now. Okay, what else is there to do? Well, I still... I guess the main thing I need to do is just find the damn plain graveyard. I still don't know where that is. I don't know if I need to go to just the wasteland and then go find it. Or what? Or if it's, like, directly connected. Because I've explored almost everything, and the only thing I've really found is just two ways to get back to the wasteland. I'm sure somebody at some point told me where the hell the the graveyard is, like what direction, but I don't remember. I want to say west, but I really don't remember. If it was west, it would be this way, which is... I, I don't even know. Where's my camera? I think I'm here. Like, is there something this way that I haven't been to? I mean, I've explored all that. Oh god, Clyde is just sobbing in front of my characters. I'm sorry, Clyde. Okay, there's some stuff out here. Okay, yeah, so I haven't been around there. I don't even know where this is. I wish my camera was marked on the map. I think I'm about here. Let's just follow my people and see where they go. Guess I didn't loot that body. Oh well. Okay, so yeah, I have not been here. Nightstick. Blunt weapon. Uh, you're a brawler, not a blunt weapon, dude. Jetview Motel. Ooh. Fancy. A long two-story motel set at the back of a parking lot. Flaking blue and white paint covers warping wood, and the rusting sign is in the shape of a fighter jet. Hello? That is a nasty bathtub. Damn. It's either covered in rust or chocolate stains. I think chocolate stains are probably more plausible. Working tumbler. Improved mod choke. So how does that compare to just a plain mod choke? That's the open choke. Um, where's the mod choke? Is it on her? Yeah. Whoops. Okay, so... I 
It doesn't really seem better, it just seems different. So it reduces the cone angle a little bit, and increases the range by two, and then the full choke just opens it to double, or subtracts, subtracts twice the amount from the cone angle and gives you twice the range. It, yeah, it doesn't seem better, it just seems different. Now, does she have six weaponsmithing? I think she does. She does. Let's actually try putting it on and just... Let's just see how it feels. Looks like that's it. Okay, so where else have I not been? It'd have to be somewhere around the edge. That's back where I came from. Haven't been here. Hmm. Yeah, I might just have to go out to the wasteland. There might not be a special entrance. There we go. I cut out tons of running because it was far from exciting. Yeah, I don't think I missed the entrance. Wait a minute, what's that? No, oh, just a thing to loot. Alright, I guess I'll sell my garbage here and then maybe ask if they know the direction to the damn plain graveyard. Sell all junk while keeping the stuff that isn't really junk. Lipstick dildos. And Tinker's parts. <laughs> Kama Sutra, of course I'm going to keep at least one copy of that. I'll keep both, whatever. Can I type in graveyard? No. Can you tell me where the graveyard is? Uh, let's go down this. Airplane graveyard. Old military airstrip to the north of here. That's not Silo 7, is it? No, no way. Could it be? I don't think so. I mean, it is filled with junked planes. There's no doubt about that. Alright, so I guess I just go out the wasteland. To the north. Which, I have to go all the way around, don't I? Yeah, look at this massive plane. Jeez. Alright, I'll be back in a second again. Okay, let's go north. Don't remember seeing it on the world map, though. I mean, I know I picked up a detailed map of the airplane graveyard when uh, when I was fighting Tinker. But I'm pretty sure right after that I checked the overhead map, the world map, and I didn't see it marked. Hey, all you cats and kittens, this is Werewolf Wally, with a little thank you card for those dynamite desert rangers who just saved our collective bacon. Hopi and McGee down at the garage say thanks for fixing those robots. We would have been wrecked without you. And I'd like to add my own personal thank you. Thanks for running those robots out of town, Rangers. You rock. And this one is for you.
You know, there's kind of a blank spot of radiation here. Could it be here? Oh, never mind. I mean... The airplane graveyard is a, like, a separate place, right? It's not just in DeMonta. It is a separate place from DeMonta, right? Shit, we need water. Oh god, we're gonna have to fight them, aren't we? No! Oh. Alright, should get some good XP at least. Ah, that's no big deal. Damn it! Didn't get to spread my people out. At least there's no slicer dicers. Get him, Lex Canium. Three armor, three armor. So that's the only one I could use an energy weapon against. That one has five. to me just to do one damage. I'm so scared. Kind of need to get away. that enemy before. Just a plain Klar. Four armor. Interesting. Alright, who's going next? Oh man, we have so many turns before they get to go. Actually, not bad damage. 105. I am impressed. Oh my god. Eight damage. They can't make up its mind. Attacks her, walks over there, attacks her, and then walks back into a corner. That's some really good XP. 480. Copy, Echo One. Echo One, congratulations. Yulia, 
four skill points. Let's save those. Pazepi. Six skill points. I can spend those. Let's get your submachine gun up to scratch. There we go. So now it's on par with... Yeah, it's that's decent. Okay, where in the bloody hell is the airplane graveyard? You said it's north. This is north. That's Silo 7. Is it... Well, shit, I mean, you know, maybe it's further north. Let's go. here? Why? It, it's flat ground. I can't even walk here. Alright. There's no way this is the airplane graveyard. Because I'm pretty sure it would be called airplane graveyard because I found a map that details the airplane graveyard. Maybe it was back there by that weird looking helicopter. Back where? Is there a helicopter here? Is this airplane graveyard? I mean, there's a lot of airplanes. But there's a lot of airplanes back in the other place too. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna see if I can find the airplane graveyard and I'm gonna be right back. Oh, yeah, this is the actual place. Uh, Rangers, you, um, aren't gonna make me squeeze through that hole in the canyon wall, are you? Maybe I will. Okay, so Silo 7 is the airplane graveyard? Or maybe... Is the, is the quest even supposed to be in the airplane graveyard? Yeah, Red told us about a treasure in the airplane graveyard. I don't get it. So it's called the airplane graveyard, but it's also Silo 7, but nobody referred to it as Silo 7, but it's referred to as Silo 7 on the map? What? Okay. Sure. That, huh? Ooh, he's excited. And he just disappeared. He's probably gonna die. Shrouded behind a curtain of junk, you can just make out the letters ERA MAD. Closer inspection reveals the rest of the words. Sierra Madre Air Freight. You found the plane. Now you just have to find a way in. Well, I'm thinking the door will probably work. Damn, this stuff looks pristine. The big echoing hole of a cargo plane, crumpled towards the front from some ancient accident. But there's no cargo visible. Was the whole treasure tale a hoax? If the treasure ends up being friendship or some shit, I'm gonna hunt down that old scavenger and bury his ass. Oh, calm down, we'll find something. Double six tragedy report. The title page of this report reads, Disclaimer, the Double Six Tragedy Report is a work in progress, still in the early stages of preparation. It consists of mostly handwritten notes and preliminary draft. The Double Six Report's 
report is written from the point of view of the participating investigating party and is based off an older report called S. Air Nomad, prepared by the GAF and subsequently stored in an archive by the NAA in the series blah blah blah. A collection of documents contain a personal notebook with a summary of strange findings of the behaviors of the two parties investigating the air crash. There is also a blue envelope with various NAA seals to prevent tamper tampering. Table of contents reads, Overview, Personal notebook containing a summary in pencil, Reasons to not release report, ATSB is unable to comment or release info, okay, let's just skim through this. Main investigating party after a period of close to four decades have not, have not released, they should be released, the full report on investigation. Release of information by participating party may cause damage to international relations of the main organization. Confidential. The main investigating party had requested the contents of GAF report not to be released to the public. The rest of the notebook is mostly filled with various writings, names, dates, and the likes of which only the owner could make sense of. An unopened blue envelope. Printed on the front are references to series... Blah, 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 barcode... The fuck is this? So some sort of investigation they were trying to keep under wraps, something that was unsolved, I guess. And what is the NAA? I'm guessing that's probably related to air traffic, like national air something, whatever. I'm not really sure what to make of that, but there appears to be something strange going on here. Is this plane directly related to the tragedy? I can examine all of these. The look of this place does not inspire poetry. Yeah, but how come I, ex I can examine every single grate? Wait, wait, wait. Some of the rivets in the floor plate look like they've been replaced by screws. If only you had a screwdriver. Is that about this one specifically? Yeah, so this one specifically. Replace my screws if only we had a screwdriver. Uh... Have I ever found a screwdriver? Well, let's... Maybe there's one on board. Have I ever found a screwdriver? Oh, don't tell me. It's a fucking screwdriver? In the toaster? If I repair it? You fucking tease. Wait a minute, what's this? Wrecked. The plane must have hit nose first, because everything up here is smashed. There are a few storage lockers that might be worth checking. This locker seems to have less dust than the others, as if it was used more recently. <gasps> Screwdriver? <gasps> oh. Okay, so what is in this then? It can't be a screwdriver. Obviously my chance to fix it is going to be impossible. I wonder if you can find- I wonder if there's anybody you can recruit that actually has a pre-existing skill in toaster repair. God, it would take a lot of skill points to get up there. Okay, Rangers, we found the treasure. Now we split it up between us. Split it up even between us, right? Right. Uh, 
Uh, where are you going? Okay, bye. Did we get the treasure? What just happened? Goddamn game, give me some more feedback. What the fuck even just happened? Uh, hidden under a floor panel in the rusted plane, we found a stash of treasure. We split it up with red and went our separate ways. W what did I get? Was it just money? The fuck was it? Do I have any new items? Okay, cool. I got something. Awesome. Oh, I still have to loot it. Okay. Gold! Received 10 gold bars. <laughs> Those don't look like bars. They look like either nuggets or teeth. Gold? Gold! Is it actually worth that much? It says 70. That's really not that much. Huh? Maybe it has some special use or something. Guess I'll hold on to it and see if I can use it for a quest or something? Copy, Echo One. Echo, congrats. Five points, let's go ahead and save that. Just out of curiosity. Let me save. And then let me spend all my points on toaster repair. So this gives me a 0% chance to do difficulty level 6 and above. Okay, it's 12%. Which means it must be a level 5 challenge. Okay, so I actually wouldn't have to get toaster repair extremely high to have at least somewhat of a chance at the toasters that I keep finding. So these aren't like level 8 toasters. So they're not completely out of range. It's good to know. I thought you left, Red. Are you back? I can't even talk to him. Actually, before I go there, let me check my quests. So we need to head back to the Ranger's Citadel for a new assignment. The only thing that was stopping me from doing that was the fact that I still needed to help out DeMonta and clear them of the robots, which we have now done. I mean, I thought we were supposed to go to the airplane graveyard, which is apparently this. To, like, do something else and look for more robots here, but there are none. So that's done. I don't think I'm ever going to do Jess Bell's dowry quest. I'll never find it. Well, what the hell? I, I don't even know what that does. I didn't even know you can click that. Does it do it for all of them? Yeah. Cool. Does that, like, mark it on the map or something? No. Anyway. Right, so we do need to go back to the Ranger Citadel, but before that, I think it's time to go free Happy Valley from the Red Scorpions. Because now I finally have that part. That tread part. That I can use to repair that machine. And I don't know if the machine is going to allow me to get into the prison, but it seems pretty likely, given that, it's, given that it's the only thing in front of the prison. In front of those massive 
like, what, 1,500 hit point guns or whatever they were? So, it's pretty likely. So, I am going to head back to the prison and go save those people, but I'm going to save that for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.